My life on the X list. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have to do my blog from my car um, with my video camera. Well, I don't have to do it from my car, but I am anyways. Um, because um, for some reason, my computer keeps changing the vocals on my video blogs that I'm making on my computer. So I have to call Apple tomorrow and see what's up with that. Um, they just updated their system and um, I guess it updated the soundboard or sound whatever processor. So, I'm driving home. I just dropped Sam Stroth. And I wanted to talk to you guys about Britney Spears. Mainly because everyone else has probably put their two cents in on the situation. And I haven't. <laughs> and I think I should. Well, I have put some. But on the new situation of her kids getting taken away. Um, her kids getting taken away is... I, I'm very excited about the situation. I'm not excited in the way that... Um, I'm happy that, you know, they took them because, you know, I just, she's a horrible mother. I'm not, that's not exactly, that's not it at all. I'm excited because I think that, and I, I've talked about this before when I talked about Lindsay and I, in, in Paris, it's like, these young girls, I mean, people, I'm not even girls, I mean, people, these people that are getting in trouble, these young people, and they're not losing anything. They're not, they're not. They're, they're gonna be just fine. If they don't work another day in their life, they have the money they need, they have everything that they need, and they're just gonna continue on living their life the way they are. Now, in Brittany's case, they took her kids away. So, that's, that's something that's a little bit more traumatic and a little bit more, um, you know, it, it's gonna hit part. And, you know, I, I know that personally because, like, about two, about two or three weeks ago, my cousin got her kids taken away. And, you know, before that, you know, she knew that there was an issue with the way things were in her life, but she never sought help and she never did anything about it. She just continued living the life she was living. Well, the minute they took her kids away, the story changes, you know, you, you, you fight for what's yours, especially your children. I mean, they're not property, but I mean, yeah, whatever. But, you know, now she's, in, you know, she's doing things that need to be done for her and she's she's making it work and I think even just Brittany the effort that she put forth to go get her license I mean that's just a, a step do I think it's enough no but I think it's this is what she needed to push her in the right direction to get her shit together and I I think it's what's gonna be a turning point for her I hope I hope I really do because I mean granted they're and another thing is they're with her they're with their father which is a good thing I mean Kevin Federline's not the best person in the world. I, we all know that. But they're with their father. They're not in foster care. They're not. Oh, they're not. You know, in, in CPS custody. They're. You know, they're with someone who potentially she can get them back from, or at least she knows that they're safe and she knows that they're okay. So, and a lot of people don't get that. And I think that that's that's you know a plus side to the whole situation. <sighs> Excuse me. Um. So, I just, I don't know, I just think that, you know, this might be a turning point for her. Um, another thing is, I wanted to talk to you guys, I put a whole video up about her last time, but the Kamora Lee Simmons, the show is going to be on E! now, so everyone can watch it, well, everyone has cable can watch it. Um, it's going to be on E! at, ex at 10pm on Sundays, so after you guys tune into the radio show, you guys can, um chin over to E on cable. I think it's like 17 or 20, 28, 28. And you guys can watch Kimura, My Life on the Fab Lane or Life in the Fab Lane or something like that is her show. And I think you guys will enjoy it because she's fierce and fabulous and over the top. Um, Jennifer Lopez, I don't know if you guys have seen the pictures of that are on PerezHilton.com, but there are baby bump pictures of Jennifer Lopez in concert. You're doing, doing, you're doing it well. And I'm kind of excited, you know, like I'm kind of proud. I'm kind of I'm kind of excited that she might be pregnant because 
Um, I think that they've been wanting a child for a long time. I just wish they would just stop denying it. I mean, if it's true, I don't know. From the pictures, it looks like it could be true, but I wish they would just stop denying and just like go, like be proud, be like, you know, with child, I guess um, the term is. So, in other concert news, the Spice Girl tickets went on sale, and I am so excited. See the Spice Girls because I've never seen them before and I am a big fan and I have all their VHS's and I have all their posters and their um, calendars and stuff like that. So I'm very excited that they're all getting back together. And if you haven't caught Mal B on Dancing with the Stars, she is one of the contestants there and I'm going to tell you right now, she fucks it up. She she just handles her business. I mean, she hasn't, she's just amazing, amazing. So check her out on Dancing with the Stars on ABC 30. Um, I'm just like a big old infomercial, don't you love it? And I'm just driving in circles now just so I can record. Do you love it? I love it. And that's about it for this blog, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys, sorry about the angle. I'm sorry about the, you know, just craziness that's going on. I have to do it in black light, but it's, I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Um, I have to try my laptop. Maybe that will work out better, but this is already done and said for. So I will post this right now when I get home and you guys will love it and some antics. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for um, listening to all my bullshit and Thank you guys, those of you who came out to the freestyle show because it was amazing, everyone loved it, and I appreciate all of you and um, all those freestyle heads out there. Um, I'm, I'm, I hope we did you guys justice. Everyone said they love my Lisa Lisa. Everyone didn't know who really Trinier was, but that's fine. I didn't expect them to, but Lisa Lisa, I heard it was a, it was a hit. So again, thank you guys, much love, and good night.